In this video, I'll be doing a review of OpenSUSE 13.1, the KDE version. Now first off, I have to say, the styling is very nice through this distro, and it's very consistent. So you've got the styling of the Grub boot screen, Plymouth boot screen, and desktop, all looking very nice and consistent. That's a really good approach that they've taken there with the styling. One of the few KDE distros I've seen manage that. Now OpenSUSE is a bit more of an intermediate distro, so a step up from the likes of Kubuntu and Solid K, which are the two distros I'm comparing this to. So one being Ubuntu based and the other being Debian based. Some of the changes that they've made to this distro, the speed and stability have been improved. They've gone for producing a few more ARM versions of their distro. They've gone for a 64-bit ARM version and just a wider support of ARM devices, so including the Raspberry Pi build. There's support for Wayland graphics, although I think you actually have to make some sort of effort to replace Xorg with Wayland. And the last notable change was that they've renamed the network device. Now, whereas we've got ETH0 and ETH1 in Linux, they've named it something else. And it all caused me a bit of a confusion where I was trying to set up the network in. <laughs> it's not in the obvious place of being at the bottom of the taskbar which actually it's mentioned down there. No, I had to go through the YAST manager to <laughs> set up the network, but I got it going in the end. So starting with the layout of the desktop. And if you click these three little rectangles on the bottom left-hand side, you can change the style of the desktop. So you can go with the traditional KDE style desktop, the floating panel for icons. Or you could change to the more traditional style desktop we could do away with the icons entirely, which looks a bit nicer. So we've got the application launcher right at the bottom left hand side. We've got the desktop switcher, a couple of shortcuts to Firefox and Dolphin. On the bottom right hand side, I've got launcher for Amarok, which I can just close that. Clipper clipboard tool, sound and volume control, the notifications as well as network management, which Network Manager doesn't do anything there, which was a bit confusing for me. You've got a time and calendar, and a shortcut to add new widgets. Now when you open the application launcher, you find it's a lot more responsive than the likes of Kubuntu. When you type one letter, it immediately brings up results. With Kubuntu, I think you have to type at least three letters before it starts bringing up results. So that's a bit quicker and responsive and, well, might help you work a bit faster on the system. This is the YAST control centre, which allows you to perform various configurations on your system, from installing updates, new applications, to hardware settings, network services, security, virtualization. You can even view the system log from here. Ooh, isn't that enjoyable? Woo! And once you've got this system up and running, it really is not that difficult to use. I did find a few oddities, like when I was looking around on the network drive, I go on my NAS, and try opening videos from here, it didn't work. No. Nothing. Open with VLC. Nothing. Very strange. I actually had to copy them across to my home folder. I was trying to open them through SSH. But I've done that before on other distros, so that shouldn't have made a difference. But it's strange, I can open up pictures on here, so that works fine. And I can open up music as well through the same way, so it's just videos that don't seem to work properly. It's a very unusual oddity, that. Hmm. This latest version of Amarok that's included in OpenSUSE 13.1 has a nice, nice waveform generator, and you can change that for a few different settings. You can have balls, hey, bouncy balls. <laughs> and it's got a fade in, fade out effect as well to the music. That's pretty cool, I do like that. I'll well, take a look at what comes pre installed on the system. Well, these menus are a bit, uh, a bit of a mess to look around. Well, that one's easy enough with education, there's only one program included the virtual globe, which looks a bit of a laugh. Not quite sure on the purpose though, and I could just use the browser for that. Anyway, as I was saying about these menus, you have to keep scrolling across through various sub-menus. So we've got games, and then board games. A couple of small games there. Puzzle, yep, same again, a couple of small games. The games that it comes pre-included with are just sort of small, little amuse-yourself-for-a-few-minutes type games. 
Under image editing, we've got GIMP and a few task specific image editors. Photography, well, I'm not reading all these out. It's, it's just sort of numerous applications. Let's go back to the list. So under internet, well, for the web browser, we have Firefox and Conqueror. There's a few different chat clients. Email, we've got Kmail for the email client. We've got KTorrent for the BitTorrent client. And a couple of other applications there under internet. Multimedia, now I was playing around with some of this to see if I could get some applications installed. It only came with KMix, the CD player and audio player. And the audio player it had installed was Amarok. There was no video player pre-installed, or not that I found one. So I ended up installing Dragon and VLC. And Office, we have the full suite of LibreOffice. System, yeah, just some variety of system applications. I'm not going for all those. Same for utilities, I'm not going for all of them. And configure desktop, that's the standard KDE configuration. With a shortcut to Yast. Here's what I thought of OpenSUSE 13.1. The speed and stability have been improved, and it's about one second quicker to boot up than the Kubuntu is, and quite a bit quicker to boot up than the Solid K. And they've got a decent support time of three years. Now I can't 100% confirm that it is three years, because I couldn't find the official mention on their website, but I did see a couple of news articles and quite a few posts mentioning it is three years, rather than the standard 18 month support time for an OpenSUSE distro. On the downside though, it's a bit of a faff to install the restricted extras compared to the likes of Kubuntu. It's not just a single package installed, you have to go and add a repository and then install a variety of packages to get it going. Now it's all fine and well if you know how to do that, but for a new user, that could be a difference between using this distro and using something that's a whole lot easier, like Solid K. And I did have a bit of confusion getting the network up and running. It wasn't in the standard place on the bottom of the taskbar, I had to go through Yast instead. So overall, I've given this distro 85%. It is an excellent step up from the easier to use distros and gives you something more that you can customize and make your own. And you do have the excellent styling in KDE. So thanks for watching, I'll see you later.